I've done a few videos with composite functions. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the domain of a composite function, f composed of g. You have the two functions here, for number one, f and g, and for number two, let me remind you of the definition here. Given two functions, f and g, the composite function denoted by this notation here, that's f circle g, little circle here open, that means f composed of g, or f composition with g. So you look at what it's defined as, it's defined as f of g of x. So it's a function of a function. And the domain is found by using this statement here. The domain of the composition f circle g is the set of all numbers x in the domain of g, such that whatever you get for g of x has to be in the domain of f. So you can try to tackle these, see if you can do these, and then I'll be back. So what you have to do here is you have to find the domain of each function to start off with. So I'm going to say d sub f will be the domain of the first function. It's a rational function. It cannot have a zero in the denominator. So we can see that when x is 1, the denominator is 0. So that's the only restriction for this one. The domain of f is all real numbers. I'm using set builder notation here. Set of all x such that x is not equal to 1. Now g is also a rational function and it has an x in the denominator so you can see that the denominator will be 0 of course when x is 0. So that has to be restricted. So the domain of g is a set of all x such that x cannot be 0. For the domain of the composition it's all numbers in the, all numbers in the domain of g and because x cannot be 0, that's restricted. And over here, x cannot be 1. So the domain of the composition then is all numbers in the domain of g, such that g of x is in the domain of f. So that means that g of x cannot be 1. So what is g of x? It's 2 over x. That's g of x. So the restriction is it cannot equal 2 1, because 1 is not in the domain of f. So what we do is we solve this for x. 2 over x equal to 1 multiplied by x. So 2 would be equal to x. And because g of x cannot be that, cannot equal to 1, that means x cannot equal to 2. So the domain of the composition function f circle g is a set of all x except those those restrictions. From the domain of g we know that x cannot be 0 so that's out because g of x has to be in the domain of f x cannot be 2. So that's the answer to the first one. That's the domain. Instead of all x, I said x cannot be 0, x cannot be 2. Now, it might not be clear to you why x cannot be 2, other than what we just said here, but if you, if you, if you go ahead and find the composite function of f with g, let me just show you. I'll clear this for now, but this is the answer here. x cannot be 0, x cannot be 2. And x cannot be 0 because of right here, it's only numbers in the domain of g. And x cannot be 0 for that domain. So if we clear this, if you were to go ahead and find the composition of f with g, so here's f of g of x, remember g of x is 2 over x. So we evaluate f, and f is 3 over x minus 1, so if I replace the x by 2 over x, I get this here. And if I multiply the numerator and denominator by x, I get this right here. And notice, it's still a rational function, 2 minus x in the denominator, and you can see that denominator will be 0 at 2. x cannot be 2. And that's why it comes out the way it does. The x not equal to 2 comes from the restriction on the domain of f, and the x cannot be 0 because of the restriction of the domain of g. Now for this one here, the domain of f it's a polynomial function. 
no restrictions. You look, think of the graph of a polynomial, it's nice and smooth. There's no gaps or anything on the uh, graph. The domain of f, I can say either all real numbers, or I can just write minus infinity to infinity. It means no restriction. So it's all real numbers. Now for g, we have a square root. So we deal with domains, we, we deal with only real numbers. So if you have a negative under a square root, that's a imaginary number. So the restriction here then is that x minus 2 has to be greater or equal to 0. Which means x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So then we put this together. The domain of the composition, f with g, is all numbers in the domain of g, which includes everything larger than 2. And then the domain of f is all real numbers. Now, g of x has to be in the domain of f. But as long as x is greater than or equal to 2, g of x is just a real number, so it's going to be in this domain. So the answer to this one, we just write f, domain of the composition of f with g, is simply the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to 2. As long as we have this condition, g of x will be a real number which will be in the domain of f. So this is, this is our answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.